Hello people, welcome to the channel Crush GG. where today we're going to be adding more to the TV and movie mass multiverse web. Give me one second, I should actually check if... Yep, okay, good. Yeah, good. My mic is on. I'm a little uh, paranoid now because of my voice not being picked up in Lethal Company in the last few videos that I edited and put up, but... Everything else seems to have been fine, so we're good. <clears throat> so, we're gonna kind of pick up where we left off last time with uh, Will, S Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter. But I say kind of because where it is doesn't really work. It connects to the famous Ferguson case through a uh, fictional newspaper called the New York Bulletin. Uh, this is the first place that it showed up in. So, I'm branching everything off of this, which is already on the web down here. I, I did somewhere. I know I moved stuff around, but I don't know where I put it anymore. I was just there, I shouldn't have zoomed out. Is it down there? Yeah, the famous Ferguson case. Right there. Uh, the famous Ferguson case is the first place where the New York Bulletin showed up, I think. So, it connects to other things that I'm going to be connecting today. Starting with... Saints and Sinners, from 2016. doesn't connect to anything else, so I can just put that over here. Next. Public Enemies, from 2009, again through the New York Bulletin. And then, the tattered dress from nineteen fifty seven. After that, Lady Luck from 1946. Up next is over twenty one 
from Five of a Kind from 1938. Uh, nope, not at all what I was trying to do. Pretty much none of these connect to anything else until the last connection to the New York Bulletin. 13 hours by air. That is not the last one for the New York Bulletin connections. And this is the last one for the bulletin. That would be when worlds collide. Planets destroy Earth. Oh, well. Uh, 1951. That is the last connection here through the New York Bulletin. But there is... There are a few that connect off of this, but with something else. Um, give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, looks like I'm back. Good. Let me get back to it. When Worlds Collide connects to <clears throat> Diamond Trail from 1933 through the fictional newspaper New York Dispatch. Yeah, another fictional newspaper. Great. <laughs> There's a bit of room to work through, to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up here. Nineteen thirty-three. This way. <clears throat> Diamond Trail connects to I mean pretty much the rest of what what this <laughs> video is going to be <clears throat> through New York Dispatch starting with Love on the Run from 1936 
this. Uh, also connects to Shall We Dance from And then this marriage business from Right after this marriage business, there's always a woman from 1938. There you go. Up next is Sealed Lips from 1942. Then, this is the army. After this, I'm gonna take a little, another little break. <laughs> I've got another thing going on on the side over here. But and you really won't notice me. <laughs> because I'll be pausing the video. 19... 43 <clears throat> I'll be right back all right I am back for you I didn't even leave anyways this is the army connects to Yankee Doodle Dandy from 1942 the actor Jack Young played Franklin D. Roosevelt in both movies. Shows? Whatever they are. Mm. Don't think that needs to be so far out. Nineteen forty two.
this way. Yeah. Then Yankee Doodle Dandy has a couple of connections. Actually, a lot more than I was thinking. Um, first up, Edge of Darkness. The same guy playing Franklin D. Roosevelt, Jack Young. <clears throat> Good enough for me. Then there's Mission to Moscow from 1943. Jack Young also played Franklin D. Roosevelt. Roosevelt in that. Then Mission to Moscow has another connection, and that is to <clears throat> an American in Paris from 1951. Dudley Field Malone played Winston Churchill in both. Another Churchill. <laughs> Back to Yankee Doodle Dandy, connects to action in the North Atlantic from 1943, again through Jack Young playing Franklin D. Roosevelt. Then, two more connections here. First, Jack London from 1943. Theodore Roosevelt was played by Wallace Clark. Ooh, that's a different connection. Or, I mean, same, whatever. <clears throat> Jack London. Actually, this way. Uh, the Seven Little Foys from 1955 connects to Yankee Doodle Dandy because George M. Cohen, 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 whatever, 
was played by James Cagney in both. Diamond Trail, again, back over here, connects to a few other things, quite a few other things, actually the rest of these are connections to Diamond Trail, where was I, where is it, okay, there it is, that wonderful urge from, oh, 20th Century Fox, that's a weird looking logo, but okay, uh, 1948 connects through the New York Dispatch. We're back with that. Next is the killer that stalked New York. I also think it went by something else. Maybe something ends in city, but this is what it is called mainly, I think, from 1950 through New York Dispatch. Anyways. <clears throat> Pick up on South Street from 1953. Also connects through the New York Dispatch. Then, the beast from 20,000 Fathoms, from 1953, connects through the New York Dispatch. Go. 
Now this one I had a little trouble trying to figure out. It is Gigantus the Fire Monster, which is pretty much just Godzilla 2, I think. But very, very, very cut up and edited for American audiences. So I wasn't sure if this connected to other Godzilla stuff or if this is on its own because it doesn't seem to fit with the rest of the Godzilla canon because of how it cut up and... Uh, I don't know if the New York Dispatch, which is connecting this, also shows up in the original Godzilla... Uh, raids again, I think that's what the original movie was called. So, if it does, please let me know. And I'll be able to add a ton more movies in the Godzilla franchise here. But for now, this is the only thing that's being connected. And I'll probably have to find a different <laughs> way to connect it. Because this is crowded already over here. Well, nothing connects. Anyway, I don't know what I was saying. Uh, okay, we're getting close to the end. First, this one's gonna look a little, uh, familiar. That is, please don't eat the daisies through the New York Dispatch. <clears throat> we have the series on here. Like, very early on we had this connected. Not this, but the series. This is the movie. From 1960. That's connecting here now. We have the series already. That's pretty much it. <laughs> they don't connect to each other. I think the, that one is a sp uh, spin-off. And it says on the wiki that it's not a continuation. Nineteen sixty. <clears throat> okay, now I need to know for sure. Let me zoom out. Please don't eat the daisies was around here. Which it doesn't have the date on it because of course it doesn't. Whatever. Pretty sure it's the series that's connected over there, and this is the movie. Where am I? Alright. <clears throat> closer and closer to the end. Through the New York, the New York Dispatch. 12 hours to kill. It's spelled out in every other place I've found, except for here, which has the numbers. I'm going to spell it out. Twelve hours to kill. Nineteen sixty. There we go. Next up is Bye Bye Birdie, again, through the same fictional newspaper, the New York Dispatch. Next up. 
The Incredible Mr. Limpet. From 1964, again through the New York Dispatch. Next up is the FBI from 1965. Again, New York Dispatch. And then there we go. <clears throat> Almost through. First or next, whatever. Thoroughly modern Millie from 1967. Through the same things, the New York Dispatch. Then, this is another thing I didn't even notice until after I got the picture. This connects here through New York Dispatch, but I don't know if it's one of the different segments or if these all connect in some way. It's a series called Cliffhangers, and I, I don't know which one it would be. I'm going to connected anyways but please let me know if this is not the right thing to do <laughs> 1979 don't know if I'm gonna be keeping it here I'm not do that send this over here good okay last two First up, Ask Harriet from 1998. Again, through the New York Dispatch. Same with the last one, just gonna be. Ask Harriet. Harriet, is that even? Yeah. 1998. And lastly, it is Jailbreak from 2017 through the New York Dispatch. Whew. These uh, fictional newspapers are kind of a pain. <laughs> 2017. Okay, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for, hold on. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go and leave a like on the video. And if you didn't, there's another button for that. If you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, be notified whenever I upload. 
if uh, if I missed anything or if I added something you think I shouldn't have, let me know in the comments below. I appreciate the help. But until next time, hope you have a nice day. Bye.